Storm Trucker weather starts now with meteorologist Ryan Dennis. Well, today is the first full day of fall, and we have had some fall-like weather today with partly cloudy skies throughout the day, very comfortable temperatures, and there was a little bit of a breeze around today as well. And on the Great Falls Clinic iCam, currently have partly cloudy skies here in Great Falls, and really, it was a very nice day overall. We topped out at 72 degrees today, so it was cooler than it was yesterday, and this high temperature is close to average for this time of year. And it was another cool start to the morning with a low temperature of 43 degrees, and in Helena, same thing. We topped out at 73 degrees, which is near average for this time of year, with a low temperature of 52 degrees this morning. Temperatures for most of us right now are about 5 to 10 degrees cooler than they were yesterday at this time. So instead of seeing 70s and 80s, we're seeing 60s and 70s, 69 degrees in Glasgow and Cutbank, 66 degrees right now in Lewistown, 72 degrees in Great Falls, 71 degrees in Haver and 73 degrees in the capital city. And the wind has been weaker today than it has been over the past few days, but there still has been a little bit of a breeze around with sustained wind speeds between 5 and 20 miles per hour for most of the day. We have had clouds around today, but a lot of that cloud cover is now over in the eastern part of the state, so we're currently seeing partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies and central Montana. And as we go through the next several days, high pressure is going to be in control of our weather, which means we're going to be seeing a lot of sunshine. It's going to be dry and the temperatures are going to be getting warmer as well. Now taking a look at feeds track as we go through your night tonight. West of I-15, we are going to have clear skies tonight. East of I-15, we are going to have partly cloudy to mostly clear skies tonight. And most locations are going to be dry tonight, but over in Blaine County, Phillips County, and Valley County, as well as basically the northeastern part of Montana. There are going to be a few scattered rain showers around tonight, and we could see some light rainfall accumulations of a couple hundredths of an inch, but that's really about it. And then for your day tomorrow, it's going to be a beautiful day. We're going to have a lot of sunshine around, and it's going to be nice and dry throughout the day. We'll continue to have mostly clear skies tomorrow night, and then for your day on Saturday, we're going to have some more clouds around, but still a decent amount of sunshine as mostly sunny skies are expected, and will continue to remain dry on Saturday as well. Now it was a little bit breezy today and for the next two to three hours it will continue to be a little bit breezy, but after sunset the wind will diminish and then for the rest of tonight, for your day tomorrow and for tomorrow night, we're finally going to get a break from that wind with sustained wind speeds generally between 5 and 15 miles per hour in most locations. As we head through your day on Saturday though, that wind will pick back up. It will be breezy Saturday afternoon and evening, especially in north central Montana with wind gusts potentially reaching 30 miles per hour in spots and sustained wind speeds will be between 10 and 20 miles per hour. Another cool night tonight, upper 30s and low to mid 40s for your lows in most locations. Then we're going to have very nice weather tomorrow, sunny skies and high temperatures in the 70s in most locations. And again, we're just going to have a light breeze around. It will be warmer this weekend. High temperatures topping out in the low to mid 80s. It's also going to be breezy this weekend, especially during the afternoon and evening. Stays warm next Monday, but then we'll cool back down for the middle of next week. And in Helena, very nice weather tomorrow. Then it's going to be mostly sunny and warm this weekend and on Monday. And then we'll start to cool back down for the middle of next week.